So we can take a look at events next. Um, events are fairly similar to appeals in the way that they're set up and you can manage them. Um, one of the big differences is that you can customize an event so that it um, ha can have custom fields in it. And examples of that are like if you want to track, if you're having a dinner and you want to track, like assign people to tables, in you want to do that within Little Green Light. Um, or if you want, you know, have any type of custom fields that you want to be tracking, um, you can do that. You can add those to the event, which is kind of handy. Um, I would say it's less typical for events to actually use segmentation. It's more typical to just add a, add a bunch of people to an event and then manage their invitation status. Um, on, and that, that's another difference from appeals is that you have this like RSVP and then attended status, but then you also have these custom attributes that you can work with. Um, so not every, you know, um, I would say events are probably less used than appeals in general, but they can be a nice way to track if you're, you know, who's who's attending, who's engaged with your organization through event activity. Mm -hmm. And also to plan events. So if you want to build your invite list beforehand. Well, I would say if you're not going to use segments, you would instead say, okay, I want to find, you know, I'm having a local event, so I'm just going to click that add constituents. And then I might search for, um, you know, if it's a local event, I probably don't want to invite donors in my database who don't live nearby. So I might search for mm -hmm. everybody who's within 30 miles of, um, you know, if, this, if I'm in Seattle, I do 30 miles of mm -hmm. Seattle, Washington. and this would limit me to the 15 people who are within 15 miles or 30 mm -hmm. miles. So that way I'm only going to get local people. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it, sometimes people use segments and events to say that you might have sponsors versus invitees or something like that. So you might want to solicit sponsorship um, in a different way than you um, mm -hmm just send out regular invites. So that can be a good a good reason to add a segment. But generally, I think segments are, are less used in events. Um, and more, more you're going to be adding people in bulk or just adding one. You can add one constituent to an event as well. Wufu is a company that lets you, they let you define kind of any kind of a form to collect information online. And so it's got a flexible kind of WYSIWYG editor where you can add fields like I want to collect name and email and address and also maybe their event participation information. I want to see if they want to sign up for my newsletter. Um, you can also use it to collect online donations. Um, it does, depending on which plan you, you use with them, um, they do have a, a fee, which is, you know, we don't, we're not affiliated with them directly, but we do integrate with them in terms of their data. So like as an example, this um let me see. This dinner form here, this is an old one, but this would be like if you were having an event for a dinner, you could set up a form using Wufu where you collect the name, email, and some information about their preferences for the event, an additional donation and some newsletter sign up or something like that. This would let them register for the event online and the information will then flow into Little Green Light um, automatically. So you don't have to have a separate, you know, data entry process for that. <clears throat> and you can, this form is hosted by, you know, this is an example one that's hosted on Wufu's web, website. Um, but you can take this form and embed it within your own website. So it's actually sitting on your, one of your pages. 